And with me now is the 2019 winner of the Environmental Stewardship Award, the Blackbeards Ranch of Florida, Jim Strickland and Julie Morris. Jim, what does this award mean to you? Well, I tell you, uh, we've, been in, we've been in Florida and been in the cattle business since about 1840, but looking out at the rest of these winners, uh, from all these different regions, it is in, I am in awe. Uh, one, that we won, but two, the stories that they all have to tell. So that's what it's all about is we need to tell our story. So whether you're in Florida, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we go from 292 acres tonight to 125,000 acres of this ownership of NCBA participants, members. It's, it is all inspiring and we should very well embrace these people and use them to tell our story because we have to tell our story. It is inspiring and Julie, you face some unique challenges down there. You mentioned that uh, you're what, within 15 minutes of the fastest growing urban area in the United States. Uh, what does that mean in terms of uh, the importance of environmental stewardship? So I think a lot of people don't realize in Florida, you know, even folks that are from Florida, that just outside that urban boundary um, are cattle ranches and cow-calf operations are what's keeping the middle of our state green. And um, when you talk about special challenges for land stewardship, you know, in Florida, you know, we have to burn, right? We have exotics, we have, you know, every single kind of exotic coming in, you know, because we're ground zero for that, we're a tropical environment. And um, it makes management a lot more challenging when we're surrounded, you know, more and more by, you know, the urban interface or in, you know, folks moving in. So it's really important that we do tell the story of how these ranch lands are so critical to our wildlife and our water and, um, you know, the future of Florida. You talk about telling this story, Jim. Uh, you've been telling the story long before you won this award. You've made it a point to get people out to your ranch to see some of those things. What do you say to our viewers who say, you know what, I don't have time, or I don't have a story, or let somebody else do that because we just simply are, are, are not good at communicating. What do you say to people like that? One of the most represented people of what they do in the United States of America are farmers and ranchers. We go back to that Super Bowl story where they talk about God created a farmer. You have the ability. I don't know, I don't care whether you have 10 acres or 10,000 acres, that we all can be honest and forthright about what we do. But also keep in mind that we need to couple ourselves with the scientists, the researchers, the data, to which we can defend what we say because they're going to believe us at the very beginning, but there will be naysayers. So people like Julie Morris, that is a scientist, that is an ecologist, a conservationist, and the group that we have, a Florida Conservation Group, we have Dr. Tom Hochter, we have professors, we have people of which we can acquire that data, use that data, and then tell our story. Um, we need to work on working with scientists and researchers that can help us tell our story. We're pretty honest. I don't care whether you're a great speaker, you're a great person, and you can tell that story in a great way. It's a great challenge to us all, and you all are wonderful representatives for our entire industry. Let's take a closer look at the 2019 Environmental Stewardship Award winner, Blackbeard's Ranch. On Blackbeard's Ranch, Brian Jones and his cowboy crew are working to beat the heat of the day by moving cows and calves just after sunrise. The 4,500-acre ranch was purchased by Galinsky Enterprises in 2014 and is managed by Florida cattleman Jim Strickland. My family has been in Florida for six generations. We've always been in the cattle business. The cattle here on the ranch consist of cattle that we have kept for generations, that we've adapted to this environment for generations. And the cattle herds, we have a Brangus cattle herd, we have a Beefmaster cattle herd, and then we have a crossbred cattle herd that are mixtures of Brangus, Beefmaster, and Brayford. Today in southwest Florida, houses are going in where cows were once grazing. That makes Blackbeard's Ranch highly valuable as open space. We are right outside 
of the second fastest growing residential planned residential development in the United States. So we have a unique opportunity to tell people about ranch lands, about water, about what the, us ranchers do for Florida. We're under a lot of pressure around the state for people to develop and Jim just caught on fire, if you will, in the last five to six years promoting conservation and actually has formed a group of ranchers uh, called the Florida Conservation Group. And they're all like-minded ranchers who are very interested in preserving as much country as possible, but keeping it in private hands. We really want to tell the story here and show that cattle ranching is critical if we want to protect our native wildlife populations, if we want to protect clean water downstream, because the alternative is development. Today, Blackbeard's Ranch is a place where cattle are thriving. The land is improving and critical wildlife habitat is being protected. Jim came up with the name Blackbeard's Ranch in recognition of the pirate history in this area of Florida. But his vision for this land goes far beyond what any pirate could dream. A lot of people say, well, Jim, are you looking for the silver and the doubloons and the jewels and the sapphires and the rubies that uh, Blackbeard or one of those pirates buried? I said, I would love to find it. But the real treasure is the land itself. So we're looking forward to the future here. There's a lot of variables out there. Are we still improving? every day.